I don't see Punjab reverting back to those days. The problem which was there in 84, the basic problem, was unemployment. And after I left service, I said that that problem has remained untackled. No government, whether it's the Congress government, whether it's the BJP government, I mean BJP Akali government, have tackled that problem. With the result that the, there is a lot of frustration among the youth, and they have taken recourse to drugs in a large, right, in a very big manner. It is, uh, I mean, recently there was a recruitment, I am told, in Chandigarh, where almost no boy from Punjab could uh, uh, qualify. Yeah, so, these are problems which the state government can tackle, but there's a mutual blame game going on. The Akalis are saying that tighten up the border, but it's not, it is the drugs which are sold in chemist shops in the villages. Every village has a number of chemist shops which open early because boys rush in the morning to buy that uh, whatever they need to. There are a number of phases in uh, the militancy in Punjab. If you look at the figures when it was thought that uh, there is a Armageddon, sort of the end of the world is coming. Parliament going berserk over what was happening in Punjab. But the number of killings at that phase, before Blue Star, was very few people were killed. But that people were killed, this was a new experience in this part of the world. So it came as a shock. The Blue Star did not end militancy. It actually fueled mil militancy. Because I must, it must be brought in record that the army mishandled, uh, mishandled the operation itself. They chose the wrong day to do it. And thereafter they had an operation Woodrow's in the villages, which was again a very ill thought of and a ridiculous operation. The army was acting. No one says these things, but it needs to be brought to the notice of the nation that the army was acting more or less on the same lines in which they, on which they acted in Nagaland, in Mizoram, wherever they were deployed. No, it is not. But it was required. My uh, take on this is that it was an operation which was required. Bindawala had to be uh, not eliminated, at least he had to be moved out of the Golden Temple. Why he was allowed to move in, I don't know. But he was allowed to move in. So he had to be moved out. 
and in that context this operation took place. Prior to moving the army in to carry out Blue Star, the general talk at that time was that the BSF and the CRPF refused to take on the operation there, saying they are not, they, they don't have the material, the weaponry, and the training to take on an operation at that time. What facilitated my this thing was, I had been in the Northeast. I had seen how the army operated in the Nagaland. I had seen how they operated in Mizoram. And observing that, I felt that this is not how any force should act against its people. So I said, we will not do anything which resembles those things which have been done in those areas. And we ensured that it was uh, followed through. Then the army came into the operation. I remember we had a meeting in uh, Mr. Surindranath's house. He was the governor there. I said that let since the army, since this is the battleground, let the police do the unpleasant things. And let the army do the pleasant things. So when we started coordinate search, the army never went into the village. They will throw out, make an outer cordon and set up medical camp. The villagers will be asked to vacate the village. And langars would be set up by the army. And the material for this was provided by the state government. The money was given by the state government. And with the result that the army left with a very Excellent image. They would throw out the cotton and we will go into the houses. No one wants anyone to enter his house unless it's a known person. And the police entering is an unpleasant experience. So we, we took all, all the blame. But we saw to it that there was no vicarious action. There was no such thing as a special fund, as she alleges. The, if a person is firing at you, what do you do? We would love to arrest. We arrested a large number of terrorists. But when it was an open firefight, when they were ambushing us, when they were uh, shooting policemen, shooting their children,